uh hi guys uh, i welcome to my youtube channel and my in this video also so guys as you can see on the screen uh, in this topic i'm just gonna talk about uh, uh, like uh, same uh, topic which is uh, uh, deploying active directory uh, certificate service on server 2012 and uh, before that we need to understand a couple of things that complete infrastructure then only we can deploy a uh, successful uh, infrastructure for that kind of requirement so i'm just talking about the basic basic thing in initial videos before going for deployment of active directory so that it will be easy to understand that uh, entire concept so before that uh, i will tell you i have uploaded one video in the same series which is uh, just basic information about what is PKI public key infrastructure basically and in this we will understand what are the component required for that nothing much okay so let me begin with this so guys this is a uh, what you can see here this is a complete uh, PKI solution infrastructure you can say these are the main component of this PKI like we would require one CA certificate authorities, digital certificate, certificate templates, CRLs and online responders all these things we need to configure we would have to configure then only there will be a successful PKI so I will tell you all about all those things one by one uh, in coming up videos how to deploy a certificate, certificate templates, online responder AIA CDPs what are all those things in coming videos I will be talking about one by one so that is called complete PKI infrastructure now we will understand what are those uh, components here so very first one as you can see here like certificate authority so what is cert certificate authority if you go back to this one so this is main or first in this so certificate authority what does it mean what is the role of this so this component issues and manages digital certificate for users services and computers so the main or the core job of managing or issuing the certificate is done by certificate authority so this is the very first one uh, component the second one is digital certificate what is digital certificate basically so this component is similar in function to an electronic passport okay so it is just like electronic passport a certificate is used to prove the identity of the user okay or the in entity so you have to prove your identity that is done by certificate in IT infrastructure digital certificate basically and if we talk about little more certificates are comprised of electronic credentials associated with a public or or and a private key that are used to authenticate user and other uh, other devices such as web servers and mail servers apart from this digital certificate are also used to ensure that software or code software or code is run from a trusted source whatever we are accessing whatever uh, softwares we are using they are from authorized source only there is nothing much uh, uh, to worry about it like any virus or hacking something like that unwanted activity unwanted things basically so it, it gives you security integrity and now if we talk about certificates are comprised of various fields such as subject issuer who is issuing it and common names there will be a couple of things in the property of uh, that certificate you will come to know in coming up videos in detail now this is second one first one is certificate authorities now digital certificate the third component is certificate template so what do you mean by certificate templates this component describes the content and purpose of digital certificate so this template will have what is the what is the main uh, purpose or what is the main work of this certificate it will be described by certificate template and when requesting a certificate from active directory certificate enterprise certificate authority the certificate requester will depending on his 
or her access rights uh, be able to select from a variety of certificate type based on certificate templates such as user and code sharing so what kind of access that user will be getting or uh, that uh, device will be getting it is defined by it is uh, verified by the certificate templates only now next component is CRL and online responder so CRL stands for certificate revocation list basically so it is a list it is a complete list of revocated all the certificates or expired certificates basically revoked by administrator only so our complete digitally signed list of certificates that have been revoked so you can revoke these certificates okay and these lists are published periodically and can be retrieved and cached by clients based on configured lifetime of the CRL so we, we have to decide we need to decide this lifetime I will show you how to do it the list are used to verify a certificates revocation status whether it is revocated or not so we can check all those things from CRL list and all so now next next one is online responder so by name itself you should be able to understand what does it mean it is a, it is a kind of service which responds online online request is handled by this so online responders are part of the online certificate status protocol OCSP and this uh, role service in Windows Server 2008 or 2012 and Windows Server 2008 R2 or 12 R2 and online responders can uh, receive a request to check for revocation of certificate without requiring the client to download the entire CRL which speeds up certificate revocation checking and reduce the network bandwidth so this is the main function of uh, online responder here now next component is public based application and services so this relates to applications or services that support public key encryption in other words the application or service must be able to support public key implementation to gain the benefit from it next component certificate and certificate certificate authority management tool so how will you manage all those things so this component provide command line and graphical user interface based tools to configure active directory authority recover private keys import and export key and certificates publish uh, certificate authority certi certificate and CRLs manage issued certificates so in my uh, coming videos guys I have installed two servers here one is my active directory and one is server uh, at one more extra server so I will be installing all those things on both the servers and I will let you know how it works how to configure so, so now I'm just going through basic basic uh, this thing basic concepts so this should be very clear and only it will be easy to understand the rest of things next thing is guys very important in this why I'm talking about all those things because all we need to configure one by one then will be a successful configuration it is a very huge configuration basically if you miss anything there will be a problem now authority information access which is also known as AIA and CRL distribution point CDPs because CRLs can become large depending on the number of certificate issued and revoked by CA so that list uh, could be very heavy or it could be very large you can also publish a smaller uh, interim uh, CRLs called Delta Delta CRL so you can uh, have little less load on, on th this kind of CRLs and Delta CRLs contain only the certificates revoked since the last regular CRL was published okay so it will not have entire thing it will have limited only this allows client to retrieve the smaller del uh, Delta uh, CRLs and more quickly build a complete list of revoked certificates the use of Delta CRLs also allow revocation data to be published more frequently because the size of a delta CRL means that it is usually does not require as much time to uh, transfer as a full CRL because it will have limited only since uh, uh, this last regular CRL was published so it will have limited information only Lim limited in, in means updated one only 
now next is hardware security module which is also known as HSM so a hardware security module is a operational optional secure encrypt uh, cryptographic hardware device basically so it is a hardware device that accelerate cryptographic processing for managing digital keys and uh, if we talk about little more and HSA is typically physical attached to a computer so you will have to connect physically to your computer this is an optional add-on in your PKI and is most widely used in a high security environment where there would be a significant impact if key were compromised so these are guys very basic component of uh, PKI infrastructure and uh, you should be knowing because each and everything we will have to configure one by one one two three four five six seven and there will be a couple of more things then only you can have very good uh, infrastructure configuration and uh, deployment of this so guys in this video this much information only the basic information Thank thanks for watching for this video don't forget to comment subscribe youtube channel like video and share this video if you subscribe then there are some around 370 videos i have uploaded on different different technology on my youtube channel uh, there are a couple of videos in a plus n plus and apart from that antivirus configuration how you can configure some attack endpoint protection manager and azure how you can configure lots of things and apart from that ccna there are some around 100 videos multiple uh, interview questions and all security network desktop system administrator lots of things you can find from here 372 uh, 73 videos cisco configurations so guys if you subscribe then definitely you will get lots of information and just don't forget to click this bell button if you click this you will get all the updated videos or notifications here so guys wait for my next video and next video i will be talking about how active directory certificate service support pki so as of now in my two videos i talk about pki what are what is pki basically components advantages what is the role uh, and now i will tell you how we can use active directory certificate service or how it supports supports to this one pki okay public key infrastructure or ad certificate no we are talking about active directory certificate service so it it also has lots of uh, components so in that in the next video i'll be talking about this this topic as well as this topic and next one how active directory certificate service integrates with microsoft id a solutions so this is uh, how it is integrated with this ida solutions so there will be three topic in the next video so till then bye bye guys and have a nice time